St Michael's Cemetery was the primordial Catholic burial ground in Sheffield when it was first opened in 1862. Over 20,000 burials have taken place here over the years. Since this area of Sheffield was known as Little Island during the 19th century, most of the people buried here during the first 50 years were of Irish descent. The cemetery also contains 30 Commonwealth War graves, 24 from World War I and 6 from World War II. Footsteps and eerie voices are often reported coming from within the deepest depths of this magnificent burial ground. Tonight, Solved with Paranormal, investigate St Michael's. With our location score for the night, we begin our investigation. As you can see, we've got Ricky, Brett and Danny, who's holding the K2 meter. We're actually stood underneath the Archangel Michael. Now, what we're looking for here is Archangel Michael to hear our voices and just give us a sign on that little electronic device there with the green light. Can you maybe affect that and just let us know that we're protected tonight? All we're looking for is some of those lights to go off. Just give us your protection and let us know that we're safe here tonight. We'd really like to know that we've got you protecting us. So if you could let us know by lighting up another light on this device, it won't hurt you. If any other spirits can hear us, then could you affect that device? It's just a visual aid to let us know that you're around. We just want to prove to people that the afterlife is real and that we're protected tonight. Could you maybe do that for us now? Please try your hardest to give us a sign. Maybe show yourself as a ball light on camera. Did you? What's that, guys? I something in there. Something inside. I and that's actually movement. sealed off, but then you can see into it where the door's shut, can't you? Yeah. It's like something actually inside. Let's have a look. So you actually... So you can see, guys, it's all barred up. One or two footsteps kind of thing, something walking inside. Yeah, it was definitely movement. I thought it was. Was that you in there, spirit? Do you maybe knock on the door from the other side? And it's important, guys, that everyone remains perfectly still for this this little test. How are you feeling, Brett? Weird. What do you mean by weird? Mm. I keep looking over there and I don't know why. Over where? Up, 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 up. To the top, yeah. To the top. How about you, Ricky? I keep feeling like we've been watched. Yes, it, it, like, cemetery now where we are is flat. Yeah. And then directly to my left now, it goes up quite steepish on a hill with yeah. many, many graves. And right at the top is like a tree line. Feels like something or someone is watching us from up top there. Absolutely. And it's really uneasy. How about you, Danny? You still feeling sick? Yeah. Really what? Sick. To stick to your stomach yeah. like bad? Yeah. Right. So, have we had any activity on that K2 yet? I personally haven't yeah. seen any. No. no. Right then, guys, I think it's time to move on with the investigation. Right, guys, so myself, Ricky, and Danny. And also Brett, who was on camera, has stood at the doorway of the Archangel Michael's Church in Rivlin. Now, what we've done here is we've set up the REM pod, the K2 meter, and also this alarm device. Now, this can be 100 meters away from the unit, which is currently in my bag. And the only way that that unit can go off is when I do this. The button has to be physically pressed. Now, I've put this on the step, just in case that goes off in my bag you know that it wasn't us. So I'll place that down there now. And I'll just wait for that to go off. Now, the reason why we've chose this exact spot, guys, is thousands of thousands of people will have walked through these doorways thousands of times. So possibly there's a chance that we might capture some sort of residual energy or a ghost. Who knows? Maybe a full-blown spirit, an apparition, maybe someone intelligent that wishes to communicate. However, we've set up these pieces of electronic equipment, so we're just going to begin calling out again, just trying to get some answers. Is any spirits here with us tonight that can hear my voice, or that can see us four human beings? Then please give us some sort of visual sign that you are here with us. Some equipment on the ground. Do you just want to demonstrate, Ricky, what the REM pod will do if the spirits go near it? For people at home and for spirits, if you come closer to this metal antenna, you'll set the lights off and also sounds. The closer you come to it, the antenna, 
or even touch it, the more lights and high pitched sounds it will create. Can you make one of those lights light up for us please? Come on spirits, let us feel you. Let us feel your presence. Give us some sort of sign, whether that's a ball of light on camera, or maybe by touching or affecting any of us. Or even all of us if there's multiple spirits around us. Could you maybe knock back? Hello, we'd like to come in. here with the utmost respect. Also, just to debunk these mists, guys, because I'm seeing them with my own eyes. This Same. is actually our breath that may be floating past camera, just so you know. Come on, spirits. We know you're around. Could you please do something to one of those devices? Use our energy, if you can, to light up any of these devices. Or if you want to spirits, it, there's a little white box there with a button on it. If you press that button, it will play some music. If you would like to hear some music, could you press that button now? Mira Malone visual. Thanks for nominating me. God. I've got REM pod. Just gonna turn it around to show you. I'm absolutely, I'm not even looking anywhere, honestly. I'm so terrified right now. I've got the REM pod on there. I'll just show it working. That's it working. So I'm just gonna keep looking at myself. I'm not even looking at camera, I'm looking at myself. I just feel like I want to just keep talking because I'm absolutely terrified. I can't do this for long. Oh, I'm checking. Oh, I'm proper checking. I don't feel good at all. There's something moving next to me. <sighs> Don't like this at all. <sighs> if there's anybody here, can you let me know, please? Can you make a noise? Can you set this device off next to me? God, I feel sick again. Can't do all this. <sighs> Hello everybody. Right now we are stood by the crypt in uh, St. Michael's graveyard. We are now going to do a spirit box session outside the crypt. So, Kyle, would you like to switch on? Yeah. Just before we start, guys, what we're, what we're looking for here is clear, intelligent and direct answers to those questions. This crypt has the names of many people on it, so what we're looking for here is specifics, names. If we get those names, we're going to check this crypt out, and if any match, there's potential evidence. So I'm going to turn this up now. It's already scanning, as always. So, let's go. Do a big business. Don't you say you won't be? Something like that. Hello, sir, can you hear me? Is anyone here that wishes to communicate with us? Me. Hello. 
See, uh, I always, when Spirit Box stops on things like that, I always listen to it because sometimes it's, it means something. However, I don't know if that means anything yet until I've made the film, but we'll carry on. Do you want to stand, stand on that? Yep. Spirits, could you tell us the name of someone in this? Could you tell us the name of someone in this? Could you tell us the name of someone in this script? In the first couple of days. Hello, sirs. Hello, ladies. We mean you no harm. We come with the utmost respect. Could you tell me who's on the um, great storm? Could you give me a name, please? Hardy. Mm -hmm. Okay. And a pier. And a pier. Are you going to appear to us? Movement on Classic. No, that was radio. Yeah, yeah that was radio. On classic FM. Spirits, if you are with us, can you confirm by saying the word dead? Dead? Embalmed? Embalmed? I've got that on recording. Hello, sirs. Hello, madam. Would you like a caretaker? My name's Danny. That's a father. Yeah, that's a father. Go on, Danny. Right, let's, let's break it up a bit. Go on, Danny. My name's Danny. Can you tell me your name? Would somebody like to come out of the crypt and talk to us? Don't be shy, you talk to me all the time on the spirit box. Come proud to be Brett. Let's, let's try, try and keep it. That said a lot. Kyle, that said a lot. Is Archangel Michael with us tonight? This crap. A power. A power. Come forward, sir. Who protects this church? My back's killing. Is it? Yeah. But my back is absolutely yeah, that's throbbing. Earlier. What powerful angel protects this church? That's a great, that's a demon. We'll ask a question one at a time, 10 15 seconds in between, and then it stops all confusion. Once Danny's gone, Ricky, 10 15 seconds, you go, vice versa. We'll go out, we'll go like that. I think that's the yeah. best way to work. And I'll be come, I'll be come, I'll be come, I'll be come. Right, so the team have come up to the old graveyard, which is at the back. Now, this ground, I believe, is unconsecrated, so it's not, you know, being blessed for Christian burial. Um, this is a place where we've experienced some phenomenal paranormal activity in the past. Danny, do you just want to show people at home what we've got set up? Yep. So, we've got motion detector that we used last time at Oberstand here. Yeah. And we've also got K2 meter there. Yeah. You can see one green light. And we've got the REM pod turned on. Just show that working. So what we've done here then is we've, we've put three pieces of equipment together in the hopes of further validating ev any evidence that we may capture. Now, basically why the motion detector is there, usually when the REM pod goes off, you can never see what's affected it. However, if the motion sensor goes off at the same time as the REM pod goes off, if it goes off, then we know that something's crossed the path of the motion sensor and triggered the REM pod, something that's affected the electromagnetic field which some people believe is the spiritual form that people take once they die. So we're going to step back now. And these guys are going to call out. If there's any spirits in this part of the cemetery and you want to come forward to us to communicate in some way, affect that piece of equipment on the floor or any of them, please feel free to do so. We don't mean you any harm. We come here with so much respect for you. My name's Danny. My name's Ricky. My name's Brett. And my name's Kyle on camera. 
Can you come and say hello to us, please? We're all Christians, we mean you no harm. Spirits, if you are around us, can we hear your footsteps like you did last time? Run around us and circle us. The soldiers are here that made fun of us. Then please come and have a laugh again. Let's really listen and open herself up to spirit here. If anyone's hiding in the darkness, do not be afraid. Come towards these lights. Could you maybe copy this noise? Got a pin in my butt. You are in your butt? No. Got. Got. Down here. Right. Someone be shot in the abdomen. If someone's being shot in the abdomen, there's a little device on the path directly behind me. Could you maybe go and affect that device? And let us know that you're here. None of the equipment on the floor can hurt you. So don't be afraid. Picking up a name, I don't know why. Yeah, hey, what? George. George, you're sweating, dude. Take yeah, your hat off a minute. Huh? Take your hat off. Proper sweating. So what? I don't know if you can see this at home, guys. Wait up. I feel like I'm burning up. So what? Look at the camera. Look at sweat pouring off his head. It's saturated. You all right, bro? I just feel like I'm burning up. Is that you affecting Brett? Come on, you've not done anything. If you are affecting Brett, can you please stop and affect me in the same way, please? Spirits, soldiers, come closer. I used to be a soldier. We've got something in common. If you wish to communicate, could you affect any of those devices behind us? Where is he? Your footsteps. Rush up to us, run up to us, circle us. Even push one of us over if you're feeling angry. You need to release some tension. I'm going to come close to you. Stand in between Kyle and us three. Me, Danny and Brett, if you can, please. What the fuck was that? What was that? I had a Why crap. are you laughing? What? You were, you laughed then. No, I didn't. You, that were a proper evil laugh that you did then. Did you hear that? I heard something, but I don't know what it was. I didn't laugh. You were, you were smiling as well, Brett. Really? Yeah. yeah. Hey. Yeah, I'm fine. Fucking steam coming off his fucking head. <laughs> on fire. <laughs> You all right? Yeah, I'm good. Shh. What was that? Behind Kyle? It was behind you. It won't. It won't. It was behind you. It was behind you, Ricky. Was it? Yeah. It was behind you. Not there. Is there something behind me? Can you maybe throw something at me? Just a little twig, something that you can pick up easy and use my, my energy to do it? What's up here, man? <laughs> Why are you laughing? I don't know. <laughs> I'm going palpitations now. Brett, take a breather. You all right? What? Is he fucking looking for? Why does he always get angry like that? Listen, Tim. You don't usually behave like this. Especially swearing at people. I don't feel comfortable here with Brett like this. I don't. Brett, snap out of it. Brett. Snap out of what? Snap out of it. Snap out of it. Snap out of it. Snap out of what? You know what? Oh, yeah. 
Whatever's affecting Brett, can you stop it, please? There's a person whispering to me left hand side. Have you? It right. sounded somewhere directly around these trees. Yeah, this little tree, yes. What? Right, please stop affecting Brett. Pick on one of those. Stop no, picking on Brett. Don't do that to me, please. Archangel Michael, if you can hear my prayer, can you come down and help this gentleman? Take off whatever's affecting him. What the fuck? Footsteps from over there. There it is. I, uh, we don't like this. this. What? Right, I'm gonna give you your card back. Give me his card back. Archangel Michael on. Yeah. Put that in your right. put it in your pocket, please. Uh -huh. Put it in your pocket. Something behind us and all. Whoa! What? Listen. I can hear a pop of... <gasps> Shit! What? Footsteps right behind me just then. I heard that. Listen, 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 listen. Don't freak. Do not run. Whoa! <gasps> Oh, yo, no, 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 I fucking heard that. Stop, stop, no, stop, no, stop, no, stop, stop, stop. Yo, yo. Stop. Oh. Paranormal investigators, this is what it's about. Relax, mate. I told you, didn't I? Thank you. Right, listen, you, listen. Oh, oh man. Oh. We know you're here now, thank you. You know that, bro? Yeah. You're safe now, mate. Yeah. What the heck, we're going off here? Listen, 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 listen. Stop playing games. Please don't play games with me, <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah, spread out, guys. You come oh, together like fucking. Because we're terrified. Really don't want them. Listen. What are they telling to do, Brett? What? Are they, are they speaking to you? I have no Listen. 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 If that was you that made those footsteps, do it again right now. Oh, you're done, <laughs> Listen. Be it. I don't feel comfortable do hearing them. Do already. not run, whatever you do. I'm not do not run. show fear. Spread back out like you are. Spread back out like you are. I know, but we'll have to start on me again. Spread back out like you are. Does someone want to jump on here? My hand's killing. Do you want to hold the camera in front of us? I don't, I don't, I don't want, want to stand on my own. Do you want to hold the camera, Ricky? Just, oh, just like that, mate. You. Just like that. Hand under the bottom, finger across the top. Did you hear that? I told you I like to play games here. It's the soldiers making you jump, scaring you. Once we turn the study box on, you'll see. I've got. Shh. Will it be able to go listen, in? Shh. Listen, listen, Brett, listen in. That's something for you. That's leaves falling, that, that guys. Leaves. That's someone running in the forest. Do it's rain? That's not rain, it is. Someone walking that fucking footsteps. That's someone. That's right. Listen then, listen. Sounds really out of focus. Right, back. instead of running around us, run up to the device that's behind us. Affect the lights on it. Right, can you describe how you're feeling right now? Okay. In what way? Head's banging. I don't, I'm really cold. How are you feeling right now, Kyle? Like I want to know who the hell has been running around us. Ooh, the hell Not hell, me, please. That's don't mean no offence. Come on, whoever that was, go and affect that device that's in the middle of the path. There's two ex-soldiers here, myself and Kyle. We know what you went through. We've seen what you've seen. Over there again. I have a feeling we're going to see something. It's not going to be good. Ricky, follow me down here. Whoa, what do you mean? That's who's there. Oh, I hell no, dude. I don't, I don't no, we're not, we're not going far, but just going here. Come here, Ricky, soldiers. Be... We're trained not to run. Instead, we'll come towards you. Show yourself to us. Absolutely fucking freezing. Come on, show yourself. Right, I'm I'm on camera. My name's Ricky. Kyle's directly in front of me. 
Can you please stand at the side of him to his left right now? If you do stand at side of Kyle right now, I'll be able to see you on camera. Then we can show everybody that you are real, you do exist. Brett's just saying random names here. Yep, I'm wrong, Brett. I said, all these colonels, Sanderson Thomas, is, and he can't remember saying it. What colonel wants to box down there? You remember when I said? Yeah. What colonel? Are you still feeling a bit freaked out, Danny? I've Are you all right now? I've calmed down a bit That's now. What I mean. You've got to not run. This is what they do. Right, what we'll do here, Ricky, is we'll have a two minute break and then we'll do a spirit box session and try and establish what that was. But yeah, it makes I 100% heard footsteps then, cracking of branches. There is the possibility that it could be an animal, however, it did seem to encircle us from all directions, like we were getting closed in on, didn't it? Yeah, that's why we all Brett's kind of bunched bunch together. Yeah. Sweating out of his head, you know, uh, it was crazy. I could actually see it through the night vision. When he's saying, laughing. Laughing, giggling to himself, told Danny to fuck off. Right, Brett. Which is totally out of character. Come as only one minute, bro. How are you feeling? All right, I just feel my eyes like bounding. Right, guys, so after all that commotion and all that adrenaline, and now we're going to conduct a short spirit box session before we return to the centre of the cemetery where we feel more at ease. Um, everyone wore an edge there. It was, it was just intense. It, it, it? It I didn't like it. One of the most pleasant of things. Camera's gone out of focus. I don't like this, guys. I feel like I'm on my own. Scared. That's you. There's some devices behind us. Can you affect one of those? If you was affecting me earlier on, can you please light up a device? Thank you. Right, let's crack this for the box. Right, Spirits, I'm going to turn on the radio device now. I'm going to ask you some questions, and if you'd be ever so kind to answer back, manipulate this device and give us the answers that we see. You're feeling all right, don't you? <laughs> Ricky? <laughs> Something about hell. Let's go. Right, guys, we're going to start this spirit box session. Spirits were affecting one of us earlier on. Could you say their name loud and clearly? <laughs> You touch my heart. Now danger inside. Danger inside. I just got right cold chills then, dude. Weird. Give us the name of the person that you've just affected. Radio on. Spirit, who did you affect a few minutes ago? Give us the name of the person you've just affected. Who's here with us? If there are any spirits around us right now, can you tell us the name of the Archangel who protects the bottom half of the cemetery? Love to a man. All dead. Do you know you're dead? Why are dogs constantly barking? Listen, listen. 
just a few here, I'll just try and keep it. Glad you're enjoying this. Who's playing with us? Shut up, that said PTSD, post traumatic stress disorder. Maybe that's a soldier. Can you tell us who made the footsteps around us? What was your name? Star. It's a star. We're going to be moving shortly. And his music. What did I say? Post-traumatic post stress. stress. I hear that. What caused your post-traumatic stress disorder, Spirit? <sighs> My legs are shaking. I'm sure that said war. Oh, shoot we shoot the poor. Carolina. Carolina. Is Carolina here? Sir, are you still suffering from PTSD? Claudia. Well, static on the head. And it feels freezing. Back's going again. Feel cold. What's happening? He's in some right pain. We need to go from here. And my legs are absolutely shaking. Like I'm losing my balance. My legs are out of control. I want to go from here. I can't believe we didn't get that on camera. Though it were, it were like the, whoever's here were waiting for us to take. It was literally as soon as I turned camera, took the camera off. Brett, it went off. I can't believe it. You all right, dude? No. Right, can you, can you describe to the people how I feel? I can't, like I can't walk. Like you can't walk. Right guys, so we've come to the end of our investigation. We're currently stood at the priest's graves. We're just going to conduct a short burst spirit box session, try and get some further validation before ending the night with a prayer from Archangel Michael as a protection, obviously more for Brett, you know, after he's been affected earlier on. So we'll just turn this up now and uh, we'll see if we get any answers. Is there any form of reverence here? Gary. Could you tell us the name of the person that's being affected most tonight? That's daddy. daddy. Twice, yeah. That. I heard that. It's clear. Laughing then, laughing. Who's the child? What's up with our face? Hmm? Like smirking. Oh, not again. Smirking at me, on sly. I just looked at him and he was like going, like that. I barely know they do. Who's affecting Brett? If there's any angels here that can protect us from whatever this is, then speak up and just say the word angels so we know. So we don't make any... We're looking for the word angel. Hi guys, I'm sorry, but I'm ending this investigation. There's obviously something going off with Brett here. I'm not, I'm not enjoying it at all. I feel uncomfortable. I'm sure everyone else does. Yeah. We need to get him cleansed. We're going to do a powerful prayer now under Archangel Michael, which is actually built into the step in, into the side of the church. It's just Brett's displaying some really, you know, worrying behaviour. Um, as investigators, it's important that we look after each other and I feel that we need to do this right now. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed our videos. Please subscribe to us on YouTube and find us on social media.